All right, man, if you guys can remember, back in October, we talked about DJ Envy being smacked with a lawsuit from Coachella. Now, the lawsuit pretty much was in reference to DJ Envy actually using Carchella to promote his, you know, car event. He would have cars from people like 50 Cent, you know, a lot of different celebrities, games and things for the kids. As a matter of fact, we were actually in attendance at the Atlantic City, New Jersey car show. It was a great event. You know, um, a lot of, you know, people came out and it was no violence. It was just a great event, man. I can't lie. But he came under fire for the name of of Carcella now he did receive a warning and now you know I think they changed it to like drive your dreams or something like that well we got an update we got an update on that particular case and at the time DJ Embu was actually sued for trademark infringement and um here are the results man the results came in you know um just a few days ago now again according to the results you know um the DJ DJ Envy accepted permanent injunction right that will stop him from ever 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 using carcella again now like i said earlier last year he was sued by coachella for actually using the name now coachella pretty much claimed that dj envy ignored its request to change the name of his event as a result the brand filed a lawsuit for trademark infringement now, that's what typically happens when you're talking about trademark or copyright infringement you will get a notice Somebody will tell you, okay, you're infringing upon my copyright. Warning. Okay, warning, okay, warning, okay. Now, because at the end of the day, nobody wants to, you know, when you're going to court like this, you're spending, you know, multiple thousands of dollars, sometimes ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars just for a copyright infringement or trademark infringement cases. That's minimal on a case like that because all of the man hours that goes into and you know, lawyers are a lot of time rip offs. I love you, but sometimes you rip offs, you know what I mean? And I guess Envy just was like, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But he probably should have known. Uh, I mean, he should have probably took it to his legal advisor or his lawyers. I know he has them, right, and said, you know, what do you guys think about this? And they should have been able to get him, you know, um, sound advice on stop using it. And I'm pretty much thinking, I'm pretty much thinking, right, that his lawyer, because I had lawyers and people would hit me with different things. And I'll go to my lawyer and I'll ask them and they'll say, shit, if they don't do nothing, just don't answer it. His lawyer probably told him to do that. Let's just wait. And, you know, it came to where, you know, now he cannot, he agreed, he agreed that he cannot use the name. Now, um, one of Coachella's attorneys, right, informed Judge Cicella about the final settlement and a filing submitted, or actually today, Monday, March 7th. Now, the agreement included a permanent injunction to ensure the veteran radio personality is barred from ever, 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 ever using Carcella. Now. They go on to say, DJ Envy, right? We all know his real name, uh, Mr. Casey, cannot engage in any infringing activity of the Coachella brand. The settlement also stipulates that he is not allowed to host, produce, or promote any event using Chella, the suffix. So you can't just take, you know, Coachella, and you think, okay, well, it's not really that, but I took away the, I took away the, the co and put a car. Nah, it ain't going down like that. You know what I mean? Now, me personally, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I think it was a smart move by DJ Envy, but the law, trademark and copyright law is a totally different thing if you don't abide by it. And if he had been some small cat not making no money, then it probably wouldn't have been a big deal. But the fact that he was making multiple millions of dollars off this show, and, um, this car show and whatnot, coming into big cities, you know, probably like 10 multiple shows right now, he was put on a radar you know, of Coachella, and they have every right to, and, you know, do it. Now, the lawsuit, the lawsuit wasn't completely painless, right? Now, they're saying DJ Embry is pretty much able to avoid the costly trials. Now, both sides agreed to cover their own costs, which is great, because at the end of the day, when him losing the case, 
they could have smacked him up and said, and they was being real lenient with him. Because they could have said, all right, boom. You using my joint? You got to pay my $100,000 lawyer fees. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? So that's amicable. I came to an amicable solution. And uh, like I said, man, the name wasn't the reason, even though it was a catchy name. And I salute Envy for doing it. Smart, smart thing. It was trademark infringement, right? It was catchy and all that. And at the end of the day, I haven't been to any, you know, subsequent shows, the Drive Your Dream shows, but I'm sure they've been just as successful. They have been just as successful, those shows, so you don't really, you know, lose anything. Um, maybe some lawyer fees, but hey, man, you make that money back at the end of the day. But what do you guys think, man? What do you guys think in the comment section about this particular story? DJ Envy Bard, Bard, from using the name Chella. He can't, he can't host nothing. He can't say nothing. It could be... Marcella, Barcella, or Archella, or whatever Chella, DJ Emmy can't have no parts of it. And um, yeah, that, that probably has, that's probably mediation. You know, anytime you're in a case, the lawyers, um, you'll go to mediation, you'll sit at a table with somebody who says they're not a judge, they're a mediator, and they will attempt to come up with the amicable solution for all parties. You know, somebody suing you for 10, you go and say, okay, I'll give you 4,500, I'll give you five. And they can say, okay, boom. We agree. Let's sign here. We ain't never got to see the judge. Or it ain't always got to be money. It could be terms. Okay, we agree that you stop using the name. Don't worry about the lawyer fees. Even though I could have smacked you over the head, Envy. Could have smacked you, right? Don't worry about that. We're going to pay our lawyer fees. Just don't use our name. You know what I mean? So he needs to think. 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 Coachella. Not Cartella, but Coachella for having leniency on him and having grace on him with that particular thing but let me know man if you guys ever been to one of the car shows did you like it you know uh i don't really have any criticisms of it my main criticism was probably not a big criticism but maybe i don't think it was no ice cream out there that's the fat boy in me you know what i'm saying but other than that man i'm not a hater man great event i think um music was dumping djs you know wasn't a lot of stars here but i'm, I'm sure a lot of stars go into bigger cities like atlanta i mean atlanta you know, L.A., Miami, you probably have different stars or celebrities out and whatnot. Um, great people come out. You could bring your kids out. Very f kid uh, friendly environment. Face painting, balloons, cotton candy, hot dogs, all the stuff. Almost like a carnival atmosphere. But then again, you got your car enthusiasts. People like me, I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars. I like to see cars. I like to see bikes. I like to see trucks. I like to hear engines run. I like to hear systems playing and see the lights under the cars and the paint jobs and the Hemis and the Scat Packs and the Audis and all the BMWs, the Mercedes, AMGs, all that. I love all that stuff. It was good for that, man. But I'm going to digress. It's your boy, Oh God, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to Hip Hop News Uncensored if you didn't already do so. And also double check and make sure you guys hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell to make sure. Double check real quick, right? You're subscribed and hit the notification, but that way you get all videos, all posts, anything that we drop here on the channel, you'll get it right away once you do that. Also, share the video real quick. Share it on Twitter. Let's get a Twitter, 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 Twitter share. If you don't have Twitter, you got Facebook. Share it on Facebook for your boy. If you don't have, if you don't have either of them, you got a text message. Text it to someone. Email it to someone. I appreciate it. Send it on LinkedIn, Snapchat, whatever they got out there right now. Holla at your boy, man. Also, we're on TikTok at HipHopUN. We're on TikTok at HipHopUN. Go give us a follow over there right now. It's your boy, Ogami. Hit the like button. Y'all, peace.